One day got a spot car stop at the petrol station and then got one Leng Chai come out. Wow, you see, they got the glass very young like that and then oh, stomach pain on. Go away, go toilet low, go away, go away, go away. And then suddenly out of nowhere, got two guys come out. One J, one Z. Oh, you go and steal the spot car from the Tho Tong Chai. Ayah, you wanna steal car, you faster go lah. Whoa, such a nice car! It's a modern classic. Modern classic? Yeah, Peugeot, I'll see that. Hey guys, my name is Z. Hey, I'm Jace. And this is not our car. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, we didn't pay for it, therefore it's free, right? Huh? Welcome to Mission Instagrammable, the series where two clueless dudes with cameras show you how to stay on top of your Instagram photography game at the most insta woody spots in Malaysia. I am Narrator, here to annoy you for the entire episode because the producer asked me to do one. Welcome back, and we are driving this rather nice car somewhere um, to some highland. As we promised, from a highland to another highland. highland. Yeah. Yep. So he jacked someone's car, and he's driving me to somewhere up a mountain. I legally jack. All right, legally. So let's talk a bit about this show, Mission Instagramable. Well, um, we're in a very peaceful cabin here. Why is the founder of Lens Library and a gear reviewer doing? Travel show. A travel show-ish kind of photography show-ish yes. kind of show. What exactly is this show? Is you travel and you learn some photography. We learn from the scratch to the pro level. Yeah. I guess it kind of makes sense that both of us are based in Malaysia and we're Malaysians. Might as well showcase uh, the nice spots around this country a little bit. Jay's has certainly been to more spots than I have in Malaysia. I am what you call a Malaysian that's overly stay localized. <laughs> yes, the kind of stay home Malaysian, which is not too bad considering 2020, but... <laughs> but <laughs> the good thing about this car is there is only two seats. The, the, oh, the yeah. back one is, is not for humans. There, therefore, today we have a you know, peaceful kind of <laughs> environment. Yeah, it's almost like someone's not here with us. Yeah, the producer thing, you know. <laughs> we had that, that kind guy, of thing. The killjoy. I, I know what. Let's have a three second of the engine rev time. Okay. That is a speed bump. That is a speed uh, one bump. One more time, we did do that one more time. <laughs> Alright. Engine rev, take two. <laughs> wow, that's the sweet sound of the clutch dying. Um, to be very, very specific, we are heading up to Gunting Highlands. If you're from Malaysia, yeah, you already that know shouldn't really be a surprise and you should be quite familiar with this place. And it's nice that it's a nicely paved tar road, nothing like that oddly off-roady, bumpy kind of thing that completely ruined my other carriage. I would hate for that to happen to this car. Throw back to episode one. Boy, that hurt. So, there's one place. Every time when you go Genting, you will pass by. Okay. It's to pay tribute to someone. Very important to Genting. Let me take you there. Okay, don't think I've been there before. So this is a Tan Sri Dr. Lim Gotong Memorial Hall. It's a play built to memory this uh, extraordinary man. So I assume he's the guy who did all this? Yes. Up here, in, up here in the mountains? Yeah, this guy out of nowhere is just, you know, mountain would be a good thing. And then it's just build a city up there. A whole what, theme park, casino. In 1970, guys. It's about 50 years ago. It's way older than I am. Yeah. So, his visionary just extraordinary. And he's Mac Gunting now, a war attraction. Cool guy. Yeah. With all respect, without this great man, Gunting Highlands would still be a jungle today. Here we are, Gunting Highlands. <coughs> Someone pass me some water, please. Thank you. Penetrating the roads and clouds, Gunting Highlands, a place where you literally get high. Yeah, finally we're here. We're here. Gunting, Gunting Highlands. Highlands. We're at the top. I'm, I'm actually not quite sure if we, if we are at the tip top, but it we, kind of feels like we're kind of tippy toppy because I see a lot of other tip tops. You're definitely topper than the crown. Okay, That's why we say we're inside yeah. the clouds. Um, Gunting. It's about 1600 meters above sea level. That's 
a lot of meters above sea level. <laughs> <laughs> to clarify, I'm not stealing the car, you know. The car is owned by our good friend. Come on, let's introduce him. Wow. Kern! Hey, Kern. Hey, thanks for loaning us your car, mate. First of all, you stole my car. Now you tell them that you didn't steal the car <laughs> and that I have to walk all the way here and you say that you didn't steal the car. Come you on, you. pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, you're pretty fast. You're just like a minute behind us. Uh, you're good. Yeah, not yeah. bad. And yeah, we, we call Kern here, it's not because of the car. Of course, obviously it's not because of the beautiful car. No, no, no. <laughs> it's because Kern is an expert of Genting. This is your turf. Uh, sort of. I come here like, used to come here almost like every week. Not because of the rides, because oh, oh, the rides are closed. Yeah. What? But, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, no, no. I'm a good boy. I don't go casinos. I don't even know how to play black. I don't black you said anything about casinos. You brought it up yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to clarify here, but I, I I love the roads here. As you can see, like down there, we'll show some footage over there. It's a lot. Of, there's a lot of like twisty turnies here. So like. Uh, oh, so, so sorry, sorry guys, sorry guys. What up? Beside toge up and drive up, uh -huh. I I you know is there's one thing called cable car. You and the cable the... car experience yeah, is so yeah, yeah. good. Uh, I propose, why not we go down now and then we take the cable car Wait, that was so far down ago. Now you want me to walk back down the cable car again? Yeah, we're I, can, I can drive it down, I can drive it down. You know, the, the, no, the no, car no, no, have but, a but trunk. we're all the way up here already. Yeah, we are. 1,800 meters up here. <laughs> but we cannot miss the experience of cable car. So we go back down and then... Yes, 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 move already. Come, 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 come. Yes, all right, let's, let's move, let's move. Uh, no, 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 we should go down, down, down. Uh, down, down, that down. down. That was up. That, there, there, there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Wrong Your sense of direction sucks. We are driving down the exact road. We just drove up in. That was a lot of work driving up. Guess what? We've got to drive back down again. Uh, because somebody I'm doesn't want to sorry. come back up in the car. I'm sorry, but the cable car experience is really something you don't, don't want to miss. This part was totally scripted too. Please bear with us. And we're back down, how fuel efficient of us. So, as far as I was informed, there was a horse ranch yeah. just down the road from here. I hear it's was. not around anymore. Oh no! Was. But on the way up there, there's this gorgeous road, really Instagrammable road, two rows of trees, Yeah. nice blue skies. Exactly. Not guaranteed, nice blue skies. At the skies. point, I've been waiting your guys for ages like here. Is there a car show or something? Do you guys have yes. to talk about the photographs? Talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we are back to the topic of photography. And this episode, we are talking about how to choose your lens after the after kit lens. The kit lens. After yeah. the kit lens. Definitely this one. The 50mm f 1.8. If you've had, if you have a few friends who were into photography, you may have already guessed it correctly in the comments already. Exactly. But this is on a full frame. If you are on an APS-C sized body to get the same field of view, you would take a 35mm lens. This is a Sony 35mm 30, f1.8. So let's yeah, shoot, let's it's a shoot. beautiful day. Can we shoot for this one? Of course you have to shoot. It's a photography show. Here's a photo of a boy with a clueless face and another one with the face of a clueless boy. What have we learned? The more clueless your face look, the more Instagrammable your photos right, will turn out. Right, it's a good photo here. But why do you guys pick a lens that cannot be zoomed? He, he just don't understand. Prime. I think he actually has a fair question there though. Why would you pick a lens that cannot zoom over a lens that can be zoomed? The, usually the zoom lens come with a s smaller aperture. We need a large aperture, big one, 1 1.8. Not those 2.8, 4.5, yep. 5.6, no. If you ask my opinion on it, I'll just narrow it down to the results you're getting versus how much money you're spending. You could spend a lot of money on a very, very expensive zoom lens and the maximum aperture probably caps out at f2.8. Basically, what I'm trying to say is for spending less money on a prime lens versus an expensive zoom lens that has that same focal length, you are getting much better results on the cheaper prime compared to the more expensive zoom. You try hard, mate. Next location. <laughs> yes, good. Let's go. Thanks for attending my TED talk. <laughs> so this is the gondola that we all remember as 
of our childhood. The classic Genting cable car as we remember. Exactly, when you think of Genting, this is the one. So back then in 97 when it debuted, it's one of the, I think it's one of the fastest gondolas. Okay, so this was considered fast back yes, then. Yes, yeah, Malaysia was Crazy. number one back then. This is Genting's second cable car system. Introduced in 1997, in short, this is Kern's favourite. And legend has it, in order to board it, you have to be very lucky because it doesn't operate every single day. Just like the day. Testing, one, Testing, two, one, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are on a cable car. We're Ooh, getting launched now. Yes, one, two, three. Woo! This is, this this is nice. Old. It is so uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this oh, man. This thing, I think this is the newest one they have. It was introduced in 2016. Yeah, and if you notice the cabin design, it looks like any other one you find uh, around the world. I think it's like a standard design. So that's like a bad thing? Um, <laughs> well, it's more refined compared to the, to the, uh, the, the one we saw just okay. now. Take a photo of me, why not? Okay. You have the 35 on the FBSC. If you put that yeah, on... It's going to be a lot less tight. It's not that you have yeah. to use the 35 on the APS-C. You can, of course, use it on a full frame as well. And what, it, and what that gives you is a much wider field of view. Oh my gosh, much better! That will become your frame for length. Yes, actually. If you've been following my videos... And then I have to look at you awkwardly. <laughs> Today, we're going to teach you how to shoot stock wait, photography. Wait, the key wait, is to look as fake as possible. The faker, the better, uh, remember. Uh, if you're wondering how they stop the cable car, there are actually like little tyres up there. Many of them spinning at different speeds. Okay. So they can help accelerate or decelerate the whole cable car. So we're going to get flung again. Yes. Okay. You, you, you want to catch this camera okay. from here. We're going to get flung. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Oh, oh gosh! <laughs> Oh, out we go! I think the best way to enjoy the, the cable car is to sit right next to the window. Yeah, like you're like hanging, flying like that. I still find it slightly unsettling that we're all dangling on a steel cable. It is, it essentially. is. Did someone say dangling on the cable? Hmm. And with a 50mm, although we cannot take a nice portrait inside this cabin, but we do can take a nice view. It's been about 10 minutes ish. Yeah, it kind of felt like 10 minutes. It's really cool. And I think we're about there. That's the station that, that we're getting off at. That is Sky Avenue. It's like the newest. Oh, the newest there's, there's, like a, there's like a runway down there. Exactly. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That's pretty look, cool. Look, yeah, look, look, camera. Oh, that's new. Ooh. That's new. Someone um, dropped the canvas. But okay. It is. <laughs> so this is actually built on the old uh, uh, First World uh, building, I think. Very colourful. Yes, yes, yes. There we go! Yeah. Oh, here we go! Here we go! Man, it's Lending. so weird. It almost looks like it's gonna smack me right in the butt. Right. That did not sound sexual. <laughs> it would be horrible to fall there. Oh. Okay, let's put on my mask. We're now at one of the main indoor complexes here in Gunting Highlands. And because I do not have a gambling addiction, that means I most definitely cannot relate to that place down there. That's totally fine because uh, what we should do is turn left and you see our kitty playground. Yes, it's a little bit more so pretty. Hey guys, this both is not our purpose to be here. We are mission Instagrammable. So what we do is we have to go to the Genting most Instagrammable places. You know, there's one place that the everyone true attraction yeah. of Genting oh. Highlands. It's not everyone. I think uh, it's probably I should say every ladies. Not every lady. Not, yeah, yeah, it's every lady. Ah, 99%. Move, 99%. Move already, move already. Sexist <laughs> comment. Anyway, this is Sky Avenue. It used to look way more crowded. Oh, poor little guy on the Ferris wheel all alone. Obviously, this place has been badly hit by the pandemic, but um, it's good to see the old folks coming back for the casino. Well, it's built for them anyway. <laughs> Right there, you see, you see? That's where all the girls go. Right there is the ha natural habitat of all 99% lady Instagram. Right there, right there. So in the cable car, we put the 35 on the full frame, which, fun fact, is actually my favorite focal length, yep. which means we ended up with the 50 
on the crop, which is roughly an 85 mil, which uh. fun fact <laughs> is your favorite focal length. Take uh. it away. Okay. So he's holding the lens, pretend he's holding a Starbucks. Why not? They make lens mugs. Come, you gotta be have a Starbucks feel. Drink it. That is not a good what Instagramable photo. Let's get the pro model come in. This is the professional. Insert some 80s kinky music to make it look so fashionable. Ooh, look at that face. Wow. They should have split the budget to a better model. And there you have it, the typical Instagram shot. Taking it where 99% of the female human race takes it. I'm done. So the true reason why people like this place so much is free studio lights. Big, giant, soft studio light because studio lights are really expensive. Soft box. Yeah, even though they only come from below, so you're kind of limited in terms yeah. of lighting options. I'm a bit but hungry. hey, it's free. Actually, me too. Hungry. You know what's not free? Yeah. Food. Hungry? I'm yeah, really yeah. hungry. hungry. Okay, I, I bet there's some food okay. around here. But my photos, guys, it's you okay. you, you do get a it's nice photo. Right, what right. about me? You'll take it later, bye. Yeah, I, I can't do eat. selfie with a 50mm. Yeah, can I? What can do? No, I can't. Let's have food. So when you think about food in Genting, you relate it with uh, high price, um, a bit expensive than the usual, like, all the fancy restaurants. But let me tell you, there is actually a restaurant right here, reasonably priced, pretty tasty, but not a lot of you guys know about it. I'm going to show you where exactly it is. Kern, ah, Kern, when will you just shut up and go straight to the point? Floors all the talk, turn left, turn right, all the talk, walls all the talk, you got anything else better to talk about? Can you please go straight to the point? Another thank you. The food here isn't not cheap, isn't cheap anymore. These two cost me fifteen minutes. Inflation. Inflation. The food here completely surpassed my expectations. It is astonishingly good, above average for sure. It may not look like it, but it is. The nasi goreng kampung has wok hay, and this. Oh yeah, wok hay. Wok hay, and this. It's amazing. This is not the usual Indomie goreng as well, and it's so good. The pepper taste is there. We just done our lunch. Amazing. Pretty Mama. good food. Yeah, an interesting thing was, like part of the restaurant was actually inside the car park itself. So oh, that was really right. new it's and inside. really weird for me. Well, that makes it such an interesting location, actually. Yes. And I haven't get a good portrait. Oh yeah. I think the 50 mm fit here the best because you can melt up the background. Oh, yeah. yeah. Somebody didn't get a photo. Hold on, guys. I got a question. Yes. Since you bring out about the lens, I want to know what is the damage I should expect if I want to get this lens. Like how much are you going to pay how for this How much are you going to pay? Okay. Okay, for the 50mm, so you're going to pay about thousands. Like just over a yeah. thousand ringgit. And for the 35 it's about two thousand. Yep. I mean, back in the DSLR days, these things actually used to be much cheaper. I remember a 50mm 1.8 was only about 300 three, to 400 500, ringgit. Yep. But technology has caught up. Exactly. It's the age of mirrorless now, and unfortunately, I guess <laughs> the prices have caught up a little bit as well. Yes, but still, this is among the mirrors work, one of the cheapest 50mm you can get. So, get some shot for me, please. Be my guest. Yeah. So, Instagrammable stuff, you definitely need to shoot some water and shoe shots. Of course, you need to do the shoe shot. Everybody on Instagram needs to know how expensive your pair of shoes are. Car parks are great for photo shoots because of its interesting lighting and all the weird little colors and shapes you see there. Go a bit more experimental with your poses and try something new. You never know what you get. Keep on trying until you get the shot. There you are. 
The key is for your subject to keep on moving so they can do some random kicking and running and jumping until you get the shot you want. Some people aren't born to look good randomly kicking stuff, but it's okay, keep on trying until you get the shot you want. Well, there goes another sale to Apple. Uh, oh! Oh! There's no getting around it When you're here, when you're here We got chemistry Here we go again Okay, you're getting it Yeah, iPhone 12 coming soon When we ignite We are stars You guys need to In a darkened sky It's been just one, two weeks He cracked the front and back Devastating for the helpline 1-300-888-3054 Help Chase Please So every time we have to be so drama I do not intend to be drama But you know, shit happens So the moral of the story is If you want to do some kicking and running and jumping Always keep your iPhone safe Well, at least this shot looks good. Totally worth it. To add insult to injury... There's an Apple store right here. Not drawing any associations or whatsoever, but... Mama, look! New! New! Mama, look! Go and buy! I'm not gonna buy one! I'm just saying, they do sell a replacement right here. So this is actually one of the well-preserved part of Genting. If you remember this, you can sort of remember how it felt like it as a child, maybe back in the 1970s and 1980s. Now we're going to bring you to the very first cable car station. This is what's left of the original cable car system, which operated between 1977 to 2016. The crowded ticket booths and queues have now been replaced by lockers for the Genting staff. Okay, why are we getting so sentimental? Let's go to somewhere more kitty! And because of our huge budget, we booked the entire place so no one can come in and destroy our bookalicious shot. Genting's outdoor theme park had a major overhaul since 2014 and was set to open in 2016. But sadly due to some difficulties, it's still not open. Well, at least it looks pretty from above here. Just out of curiosity, what was your actual first lens? Uh, after your kit lens? Well, my after my kit lens, of course, it's gotta be the nifty 50 nifty... The good old nifty 50? He basically means he bought the cheapest 50mm from Canon, dropped it a few times and doesn't care about it. End of story. Do you still have that lens? I still, but it's in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it's in pieces? I tried to repair it, but I couldn't. Oh, of no. course you can't, you little boy. All right, now some peace and quiet in the next location. We're now on a temple that's built on top of a hill and it's called Chin Shui Temple. Chin Shui. Chen Shui. Chin Shui in Chin Mandarin. Yes. Chin Shui, in case you want to dial that into Google Maps or something. Yeah. Make sure you come to this one, that's the correct one. The most striking element is probably that pagoda tower looking thingy that's directly oh. behind us. I just want to use the lens to shoot on the pagoda tower on the scenery here, but the prime lens that you choose is not suitable from here. Tell me again why you choose this lens. Now if we're talking about a super wide angle lens or a super telephoto lens, it's a lens that can reach really far. Those are quite specialized lenses, so they are going to be much heavier mm -hmm. and they are also quite a bit more expensive. So think of this as a more accessible general purpose lens that you can use for more photography applications and it's also a bit easier on your wallet exactly uh, speaking of that someone is yeah smacking. someone seems to be i'm taking a break what, what are you doing you're talking about me here's just two gen and two juice guy don't talk about wide angles daily and prime and all that just chill out a bit and speaking of prime i will show you how to use prime to take good photo of this 
Wow, an incredibly peaceful looking photo! And naturally, our editor will put in some nice slow motion footage. This is a story of a random person walking randomly while he looks in front of whatever his eyes can see. A pagoda in front of a lantern. He looks back at the city below him. He then looks up at the pagoda from a different angle. Random footages of beautiful textures and sky plus a lion. Pretty cool, huh? And a cable car to signify uplifting. The man then walks towards the staircase as he frantically looks. Oh, who, who forget the line there? Huh? Oi, director, someone forget the line! Anyway, he looks around frantically to look for a toilet. He then looks out into the scenery, waiting for hope. Because of course it's an iPhone and we had to do it like some sort of iPhone app lab, right? More footages of dragons and people doing Tai Chi. This lantern is pretty. And then we end with a shaky shot of the man looking at his destiny in front of him. It's pretty long, huh? Because the background music is still playing, it is mandatory to put one more random shot of the pagoda. Done! You know, even though this place technically speaking a house of worship, but I think regardless of what religion you're from or if you're an atheist, it's undeniable that this place is calm, it's beautiful, it's serene. So I think we're just gonna stay here and take in the Zen for a bit, as Jays would say, enjoy the Zen until one of us gets hungry and then we'll probably leave for dinner somewhere. Last thing before we go dinner, just to add on on why we choose, why we always choose this lens as our first lens after the kit, mainly due to the weight and the size. Every 50mm 1.8, they usually come in a compact size and small and then easy to bring around. Like today, you see, it's a full frame with a 50mm on my hand. Best near. Yeah, dinner time. Dinner time. And this is where they blew the entire crew's budget on some fish. Ching Jing Bak Shu Kung. All right. We had your big and luxury dinner. So, big and luxury. Luxurious dinner, huh? Luxurious. It was bang for the So, it was not bad. Get back to the work now. Get back to work. We got to test some low light, low test. light stuff. And, uh, youngster nowadays, not nowadays. I mean, youngster, mm -hmm. they tend to come gunting for one thing only. What is that? Ooh, is Starbucks one. coffee! Generic coffee. <laughs> uh, absolutely uh, attainable in the It's not a pay ad, it's not a pay ad. <laughs> so just yeah, you can literally it. get this in any town, in any city, <laughs> in any country in the world. <laughs> you don't have to come up here, but people still do. And pay extra. Oh, the the weather, weather, I guess. Yeah. It's a good vibe, it's a good feel. This usually happens in night time. Yeah. In low light. Yeah. Conveniently, somebody left their A7 and their 518 over there. It's because I have a large aperture 1.8, so it's just a roadside. So I see what can I do. Okay. All right. Because a cup of Starbucks and Genting is way more expensive, it's a great idea to document it and show it to your friends on Instagram. Top it off with lots of inspirational quotes from the internet. The more, the merrier. It is 10 p.m. and the night is still young at Genting Highlands. Typically, this is the kind of time we arrive at Genting, but it's a different kind of day today because we're ending the day 
at 10. Today has been a long, long, long day. <laughs> long we go early down, early day. Now, you know, round here, multiple round times, there. multiple times. But not to fret, we will see you again very soon yes. somewhere else. North of Malaysia. Up top, up yeah, top. Up top, north Try of figuring it out. Comment down below where you think <laughs> yes. this up top place is, where we're going to talk about what are we going to talk about? Since we already have you geared up, you have camera, you have lens, so we back to basic. We're going to talk about exposure, where shutter, ISO, aperture. The three key elements in your endeavor of capturing light, the three things that control yeah, how light happens yes. when it hits your camera. And that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching this second episode of Mission Instagrammable. My name is Z. And I'm Jace. Catch you in the next one. Hey guys, where's the car you guys rented? Uh? I, I mean stolen. Uh? Wait, 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 should I follow the script? It says stolen here. So we came across this massive car park in the fog and we realised it's a pretty cool spot to do a photo shoot for Kern's car. Kind of like an appreciation for Kern for being so graceful to appear on today's episode of Mission Instagrammable and also, I don't know, as an apology for possibly jacking his car sometime in the morning. Pretty sure he loaned it to us willingly. But anyway, as a bit of a bonus tip for the Sony shooters out there for picking a first lens, we do actually have one very honorable mention, and this is the FE 28mm F2. Now this lens actually sits between the 50mm 1.8 and the 35mm 1.8 in terms of price point. And it's also an F2 that works both on full frame and APS-C. When you stick this onto an APS-C, it's about a 40mm equivalent, which is slightly wider than the 50mm. But what's really interesting about this lens is what Sony's actually done with it. They've actually made two converters for this lens. So for one, you can actually put an adapter onto the front of this lens and it will turn it into a 21mm ultra-wide angle lens. And you can also put on a 16mm fisheye adapter, which gives this a 180 80 degree field of view, essentially turning it sort of into like a super wide angle action cam. This is something quite remarkable because I don't think there is a lens quite like this from every manufacturer out there. So if you are a shooter from the Sony system, might as well take advantage of what they have to offer. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the third episode, two weeks later.